Welcome everybody to True Exact Show. I am here with Ellie, Eric, Brian, and a couple of friends of mine, and a baby who's here. Uh, Two thirds of Petruzzo Inc., a new business, uh, shirt printing, which is really cool. I'm happy they're doing it. And the baby spokes model is here too, joining us. So they didn't want to leave him out because, you know, if he gets older and sees this, he's going to be like, where the fuck is my royalty check? <laughs> in front of the child. That's why I'm not a parent yet. So, <laughs> anyway, this is Jesse and Allie. Uh, they're friends of mine. I'm really happy to have them on. First of all, how are you guys doing tonight? I know, I know the kid might be keeping you up a bit. <laughs> doing good. It's Friday night. Able to drink on a Friday night and, you know. And our next, our next our right step now. after this <laughs> is going to bed because that's just what <laughs> That's just what we do now. This is, this is probably the latest we've been up in the last four months. So, well, I appreciate you staying up for us. I really. You teaching him how to beer bong already? Because that's an important life skill. <laughs> Trying. He's really good okay. at chugging bottles. So, you oh, know, good. Perfect. We're halfway there. Perfect. We're halfway there. We tried to take a, a St. Patrick's Day pick the other day, and he he just straight fisted her beer. So, I mean, he's excellent. Those those there. skills will take him through college. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to try to teach him not to drink until he's like 27. I'm going to go the opposite way. Whatever I did, he's doing Just the opposite. scare him. Yeah. Uh, just completely. You think you'll die. You could, you could tell that when you're in college, you could tell the kids that were sheltered because they're chugging vodka and passing out and <laughs> dying every day. And people like us who drank in like eighth grade, we're just like, yeah, it's just another party, whatever. But anyway. Yeah, you really can't. Yeah, that's true. You really can tell that like the people that never drank in high school, definitely. Yeah, their taste of freedom. They drown on it. One of them's on this show. <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so enough, enough of the baby talk, even though he's adorable. So uh, let's get into your business here because I saw you – I saw that you posted it probably like a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I was like, this is really cool stuff you're doing. And it's almost like I didn't even know you do that, so I texted you, reached out to you. So, like, how do you – tell us about your business, what you do, and how you came into doing it. Because I've known you six years. I didn't know you had any interest in that. I don't know who wants to take the reins here, Allie or Jesse. It's up to you. Flip a coin. Well, all right. From my perspective, so Rob, <laughs> who's the other third of Petruso Ang, Rob Petrucci, and Jesse have been best friends for a couple of years now, and they're always talking about how they want to, like, dive into something. So – They've talked about like doing skits on YouTube. They've talked about um, like making a band and it's always like, yeah, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. I have videos of them jamming on my phone and it's, it's a share. So, and actually one of their endeavors was to record a podcast mm -hmm. um, and they were going to call it hot nonsense and it was going to be them playing. For Skip, for, well, for, hold on, for Scott. It, Tom was going to be a movie reviewer. Tom always wanted to have a movie reviewing podcast. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the goal of it because, you know, him and Scott would always talk movies. That's yeah, but their one and only episode that they recorded was them playing a game of Trivial Pursuit and just getting progressively more and more drunk and crap <laughs> and saying really questionable jokes. And it was just not, not ready for air. So they've always talked about these like little ideas and then they started talking about making t-shirts one day and I was like well we could actually do that it's not that hard that's but like, so Allie that's the first idea that they had that you actually popped up out of your seat like I'll help with that yeah I was like and that's, I and that's that. a really <laughs> that's a really important caveat is that she popped up and said I'll help you <laughs> otherwise it would have tanked yeah <laughs> Otherwise, they would have had the name, and that was – actually, I even came up with the name. So you don't even get credit for that. <laughs> Your name Boom, is roasted. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so then they were like, we could do this. Um, and Rob came up with some really awesome art to start, and I'm able to, like, turn his art into something printable, and Jesse markets it. And, yeah, we're, we've been going for, like, two months so far, and so far, so good. Right, and how do you how do you get it onto a site like Etsy? Like, and and um, how did you know how to do this stuff? Like, did you just like Google the equipment? Like, how does that work? Pretty much, yeah. We actually bought the equipment back in what August. Yeah. And it sat in the garage. 
six months because like every other endeavor that me and Rob tried, <laughs> it pretty much collected dust in the garage. And we're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to bother anymore. <laughs> this is so stupid. We were like looking. I'm like, all right, you bought this thing for 200 bucks. Just see how much you can sell it for. I don't even care. <laughs> One day we got really bored in like January. Like, let's just bring it to his house, crack it open. If it doesn't work, whatever. And then like she really enjoyed it. He was loving it because Rob went to art school. Mm. Oh, so he was loving it. Like, the designs and everything and uh and she was loving making them i was loving watching so you know it was pretty cool so <laughs> so they started and so with the first our original idea was to do a bunch of movie quotes just like it was supposed to be shirts for us like just fun shirts for us like for like friends or the office or whatever but then we just started kind of pumping out ideas and obviously the simpsons and nickelodeon came in there and they kind of blew up so that's kind of where it i like to verudo i saw verudo <laughs> that was, that's a good one Those we've decided are, we're just gonna do like our best sellers right now are pretty much anything adam sandler <laughs> nickelodeon or um the simpsons so i think we're just gonna cancel everything else and just do a yeah like the nostalgia sharks have been yeah. yes For sure. like, I love your the nine shirt. that's our best seller <laughs> i'm probably gonna go buy it actually i said that's I thought, awesome. like, oh my god it's face yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. we have on uh jesse has on an office shirt gruel yeah. Yes. Yes. Ellie, I told you about that <laughs> yeah and then mine is pills nerd it's just my little beer beer pun shirt like with some glasses oh, on. Cool. you didn't put him in a onesie for this well he's yeah wait he's where's his onesie he's he's got a magic merlin sleeve suit on that's about it <laughs> Patricia Landry. Yes. <laughs> we did our next uh, our next one in the works, but it's not really original, so I don't I don't feel great about it. But the next one's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a onesie that says if peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. That's okay. Clever though. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. That's what I that's what I like about you guys and the stuff you do. Like you see so many of these printing shirts do like what's popular, and I feel like it's you like guys a sunset. Are but yeah, you guys are like the, <laughs> you guys are the common man and woman who just like grew up watching shit and you know what you like and it's like I like yeah. face. I'm making a shirt of face, fuck everybody else. I love that. <laughs> like I do. Like it's like because you don't realize how much you connect with the average person just throwing up like Rerudo from from uh Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Like, that, yeah. It's great. So like I, I keep it up with that <laughs> concept. Yeah, that, that and that one, like one of them was Rob's idea, and it was genius. You said was the stick stickling. Yeah, I, I'll be wearing that in a video forgot, tomorrow. By the way, I forgot all about stick stickling until he sent it over. I'm like, wait, did you just remember that? Like, do you remember the like the PO box from memories? Like, yeah, I, I can't get it out of my head. Yep. And that was, our, that was another one of our best sellers. Like, so yeah. I've seen like the vinyl cutting. Cause the shirts we have, most of them up on our Etsy page are made out of cut vinyl, and it's like super easy to make. Um, I'm a teacher. That's like my day job. And every teacher that I know knows how to do this cut vinyl thing. And whenever they're making stuff, it's like super teacher oriented or like, you know, those corny Facebook ads with like cheesy shirts that have like a paragraph of text about like, it's like, <clears throat> who bought this crap? And I was like, oh, there's a market here for actual funny stuff for right. people our age that's not for like my you know 65 year old mother or not for like some weirdo teacher who wears like apple shirts all the way all the day and like all, every day and like pencil shirts or whatever so i was like there's there's room here for us to yeah. do something fun and it's been working out pretty good yeah no it's great uh eric go on if you got any questions here uh, i was gonna ask as for like is there do you ever run into like trademark issues yeah like if you <laughs> I was like, just copyright issues with Yeah, that. like yeah, like if you if it's an idea or a phrase, like wh where does that happen, or is it different if it's one of these old shows or a song, or like do you do, are there any guidelines to things like this? Yeah, we gotta Google it every single time because <laughs> okay. like Adam Sandler, we can't use his name. We can use like Rudo, but Adam Sandler, his actual name is trademarked. So like when we're selling on Etsy, we can't even put his name. Yeah, it's the Which, same with Seinfeld. Like, Seinfeld itself is trademarked, so you can't um, – you have to, like, misspell. If you want to market Seinfeld, you have to misspell it on purpose. Um, I found that, like, the hard that, – that was the first time we found out we had to look up trademarks was because yeah. I was looking up Seinfeld on Etsy to look up other people's tags and to see, like – I don't want to pick a – pop like Scotty was saying, I want to pick a popular shirt. I want to pick something, like, just off the wall because mm. we all watched it. 
And I always noticed that all the tags were for like Seinfeld. Like, can nobody spell Jerry Seinfeld's <laughs> fucking name? Yeah. What the hell is this? And then I started looking. And I realized that Jerry Seinfeld trademarked his own name. And like, there's you can't find anything with his name anywhere on the internet for that reason. Wow. Seinfeld trademarked like all the names of the show are trademarked like everything so yeah Jesse, we gotta go. jesse's looking it up we're in the industry with a bunch of idiots babe we got this <laughs> <laughs> no no i was actually thinking like oh my god we're in the industry with a bunch of idiots we gotta change it to sign field <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be the only seinfeld out there <laughs> that is crazy though yeah. so we're actually yeah. so we're a limited partnership like we're an lp Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to probably have to look into being an LLC for just that reason. In case, just in case we miss one of those trademark copyright issues. Yeah. But, you know, we can't, we can't use, like, people's likenesses on shirts. So um, That's why, like, with Gruel, it's just that like, you, you can't can, use Michael Scott's Yeah, you can't use Michael Scott's Steve Carell mm. face. Um, but as far as, like, quotes and stuff go, most of the times they're not actually trademarked. Right. Um, because it's hard to trademark like a line from a show it's you know so otherwise you end up with lebron james and trademarking taco tuesday (laughs) yeah yeah. yeah. i have a trademark you could have i invented this in second grade i'm giving it to you the early bird gets the worm i thought you did not (laughs) think of that i did I was there. He's like, you know what? This is going to take off one day. This is really good. (laughs) And uh, apparently emojis aren't trademarked either, right? Yeah. I had a friend and they they went into, they they invested like I think 20 grand, 30 grand. They lived out in Portland and they just got those balloons you would see at like a grocery store or something like that for a birthday. They got a bunch of the emoji, they reached out to a company in China, a bunch of emoji uh, balloons and just started selling them to these stores and they made like hundreds of thousands of dollars like crazy yeah amounts. really yeah Jesus. everybody wanted them it was when emojis were hot and new but they're not yeah. a trademark so you could do that that's pretty crazy well i think i think the rule too is like if it's something that like that, that's what lebron james ran into with taco tuesday like if it's something that you can pretty much say and like anybody can say it in any any everyday conversation like it's just part of your regular vocabulary like you can't trademark it yeah yeah, that's yeah. But that's true. Like, talking about how like emojis at one point in time were like really hot, right? We thought our flagship shirt was a shirt that says Bays in the Friends font. So we were like, this is, this is it. Like this is going to be a top seller. But I mean, little did we know that we're about five years behind the Bays trend, that Bays is not a thing anymore that people say. So no one wants to buy a Bays shirt. Nobody calls so- their a Bay or a Bow anymore. Nobody yeah. does. I'm like kind of pulling my middle schoolers to find out like what is the cool thing now? Like are people still on Snapchat? Is that a thing? Yeah. Are people still like floss? Is that a thing? To try yeah. to figure and the answers to both of those are no. Um so to try to figure out like what we should do next because So it's too late to put a shirt that has yeet on it. Yeah, no yeah. yeet. Yeah. Oh do it though, I'll buy it. I work I work for the guy. <laughs> I work with a guy who kind of does the same thing, and he's 49. He said he downloaded TikTok just to see what kids are up to, to see what the trends were. At first, it sounded very creepy as he explained this. But, <laughs> but like, he was saying it's, it's for business. So I said, okay. <laughs> I don't even have TikTok. What's but, your yeah. business, candy sales? <laughs> 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 what do you got? A white van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's I mean, the big that thing now. Like, Everybody, they're making it's like the new vines, like TikTok. People are making millions. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's unreal. Well, it's that old oh, rapey app is, is what it is. So it's was music. Yeah. So it's just Musicaly reinvented because Musicaly got in, in trouble because all these parents were like, "Why are all these like grown ass men following my twelve year old son and daughter and sending them yeah. like nudies?" So then Musicaly got shut down, and then it got yeah. rebranded as TikTok. <laughs> yeah. 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 We we do both have a TikTok and it's I, embarrassing. To I say don't really that. use it as much as you. It's do. market just... research. So. <laughs> it's, I, I get it. My dad has one. If it makes you feel better, and he's like sixty something, and he like will just send me TikTok videos nonstop. He's like, "You see the TikTok I sent you?" I'm like, "You're too old to be on there. Get off of there." <laughs> Ellie, I it's saw you so get good. overly excited when they talked about how they print their shirts. So uh, if you want to touch on that, go for it. Yes. So do you do silk screen or do you do like iron ons? 
So, yeah, so we do heat transfer vinyl for most of our shirts. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, like, cool. similar to an iron-on. Like, if, if you ever had, like, iron-on patches, like, at, when you were a kid and would, like, decorate your backpack and stuff, it's kind of similar to that. What the hell was that? Um, you didn't ever have a patch? No. I did. It was the cool thing. You had a Jansport <laughs> backpack with iron. I'm with you, I'm with you Jesse. I have no idea. Wow. I used to I used to write in white out on my black binder and wrote band names on there, but that's about. Oh yeah, that was a little upgraded from that. <laughs> so yeah, we do iron on vinyl, heat transfer vinyl with a heat press. Um, we also are dipping our toe into sublimation and infusible ink. So um, what is that? Do, like, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's like dyeing the fibers of the shirt. Um, oh. it's kind of a what a picture whatever you want um like if you're getting a, like a regular sh like a shirt from like a reputable company like you know like i don't know I'm, i can't even i don't know i'm not even I'm blanking on the name but like that's what they're going to use they're going to yeah. use that like it's like dyeing fabric but in a specific manner right, right. okay gotcha I, i'm put i'm picking up what you're yeah. putting down gotcha yeah so we're dipping our toe into that pond it's a little bit more of an investment as far as like sure. the machinery goes but it's um i prefer it because iron on vinyl you can feel it right when it yeah. it's in the shirt you can feel it um but the sublimation and the infusible ink you can't because it's dye so that's our next endeavor um cool. the, the output is similar to to like a similar to soap strain but i think even okay. better I can't okay yeah, yeah that makes sense so if you're actually like dying the fibers yeah so order yeah. the base shirt so thank yeah. you yeah Oh, oh, great. oh, beautiful. Thank you. I just the, saw um, somebody else because they were like, they left this in 10 people's carts. And I was like, fuck you guys. I'm getting it. Other people's carts. <laughs> yeah, it's getting favored. Like, I, like, we started this whole thing for like friends and office quotes. And then we're like, oh, you know what we'll do next? Like, Game of Thrones quotes. And like, like we're like trying to hit all the new, like, you know, the new shows. And, and then all of a sudden, we did the 90s nostalgia. And that's like blowing yeah, up. Like, that's, that's like we're going to have to. We're going to have to like delete the office stuff to make room for more like rock the more life shirts like and rocket power. Yes, Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it. everybody has that reaction in our yes. in our age bracket. Everybody like it's like I want one for myself. Like so every so we just made a uh, Scotty. We did the the Quimby. Yeah, I bought it. Rob's it's like away, you. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. So Rob's like tomorrow. It's in the mail tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> so Rob's like, you need to make me one. You got to make my brother one. Uh, you got to make my other friend one. So everybody wants a Simpson shirt. Everybody wants a Nickelodeon shirt. Yeah. And I, I feel bad. I never watched The Simpsons, so I don't. Uh, this guy. What? Uh, How have you like uh, never seen uh, one episode? Hold on. I, I just. Whoa! whoa. Abby, <laughs> you send him to bed with the baby. You could. Come yeah, I know you're out. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Uh, we've interviewed seventy people, and this—that's the most outrageous thing I've ever. Seen. <laughs> <laughs> that might be. It really yeah. Does. If it helps, I've seen the movie and I like the movie. Okay, then you've seen The Simpsons. Well, yeah, I've seen. Well, I went with like other people that like saw it, but like, yeah. Regardless, I can't wait since you're going into that dye, uh, the the dye um, uh, material. It's near yep. Easter, and Jesse's gonna go and take up all the Easter egg fucking kit dyes and, and ruin every kid's Easter <laughs> when they're trying to dye an Easter egg. It's gonna be phenomenal to say, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> What's that maniac doing? I got shirts to print and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. They like on. push them too. Definitely push the children down. <laughs> really sell it. So wait, you guys, you guys are physically making all the shirts, right? Everything that goes out. Wait, hold on yeah, one hold on, second. We're frozen. I don't know. We just froze. What happened? Oh, you're good. Oh, you're not you're frozen good. on our end. Yeah, you're um, All of you are frozen. Hold them. Oh. oh, no, he's too dark. There they go. <laughs> Fuck the show. Oh. We're out. <laughs> oh, wait. We're good. We're good. All right. I don't see it. Yeah, there you go. All right, there we go. Go on, Brian. Sorry. Sorry, what was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> so you so you guys are physically making every shirt that goes out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. How tedious of a process is that? Like, let's say, I mean, do you have a day where you're like, all right, uh, Saturday at 2 o'clock, we're going to work on the shirts. 
that we yeah. got. So right now, our plane is set tomorrow, Saturday morning, from like eight to one. We have this like twenty be... orders to fulfill tomorrow. Yeah, when, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. When we first started, it was like an order would come in, and we'd be like, "Okay, well, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna do. We're gonna print this shirt and mail it out immediately." Our shipping was one to three day, one to three business days. <laughs> that was the hugest mistake. Yeah. Now we're like. No, 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 no. We can't, we can't keep that up. So yeah, it's like now weekends or, you know, nights after the baby goes to sleep or we go and cut the vinyl and, and make the shirt and the actual, like, really good at pressing it. Yeah. So I like cut the vinyl. When I'm allowed to do he, it, I'm allowed to yeah, do it. Yeah. When you're oh, such guys, Jesse, you just <laughs> mess it up the first time on purpose so she doesn't allow you to do it. I messed it up the first 10 times and I still got to <laughs> fucking work. Uh, but like, uh, so the, the actual, like, so we bought, like, well, I'm looking at it. That's why I'm looking at it over your shoulder. I'll stand up here. Uh, we bought this, like, $200, like, heat press. It's, like, just, like, a giant box iron. It's just better than using, like, your own home iron because that takes oh, forever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those things are so much bigger. It gets to, like, 350, yeah. 400 degrees. It takes, like, 20 seconds to press a shirt. It's, like, the things they have on the boardwalk, right? Like, when yeah. you walk into yeah. those yeah. stores and they, like, press the thing down. Okay. It's yeah. very similar. Yeah, it's yeah. a little smaller of a version. Like if we had oh, one of so some of those bigger ones, like the screen printing ones or the big heat presses, they can go for like five, ten thousand dollars. What? So like, I, mean, I hope yeah. we can get to that point one day because the people on Etsy that screen print, that's where they make that's the reason those Our shirts are like thirty five dollars. Yeah. yeah. Because they have those twenty thousand dollar like screen printing giant box machines that like take up a whole room. Yeah. But we just have the heat press machine. But like that takes, you know five, 10 minutes to actually make the shirt. The printing of the vinyl and doing the design. Well, you've, I mean, like- It's actually really tricky to like, you know, the, the software that I use, you can design a shirt in that software and then print it pretty quickly. But what we're doing, having Rob making original art and he does it usually in Procreate on his iPad. And then to get that, beautiful work to translate into cut vinyl is really tricky. So it's been a lot of back and forth of trying to figure out like, all right, Rob, like this is beautiful work, but you got to like pare it down a little bit because it's not like shit if we try to print this on vinyl. So finding that balance between like art and reality has been a bit of a bit yeah. of a, you know, so then, like the more detail that's into something, it's like the yeah. more likely you're going to be able to put that on a shirt because it's just yeah, 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 for sure. And then the more colors that a shirt is, the more layering it takes. So like the stick stickly shirt, it's one color and it's right. so easy. We can make that shirt in literally 20 minutes. Right. But um, something like Quimby or um, the face shirt that's a couple of colors like in the mouth it takes longer to do because you're layering you're making sure the vinyl lines up really good and um, it can take a while and some trial and error and she literally has to peel back I say she because again I, I I'm not allowed here hold him I'll show um, us working yeah you're so, on baby duty let the woman yeah go. buddy <laughs> this is fun <laughs> I can't mess this up that'll be worse just as someone <laughs> as someone who has one of your shirts how do I go about washing? Do I not dry it here? Yeah, you can dry it. Wash it inside out. Okay. Tumble it low. It'd probably be best to air dry it if you can, but if you need to dry it in a dryer, tumble dry low. But just make sure you turn it inside out to wash. I'm so gonna We've mess washed that up. all of ours and done regular drying, and the quality yeah, is it's fine. It's fine. Perfect. All right, sounds so good. So this is what, like, the vinyl, this is, like, mid-cut. So this will be ah, a okay. the tie. And you can't quite see it, but this is all cut out the rest of the Quimby. We print it um, backwards. So that's, well, it looks, yeah, I can't tell. So that's that. And then once it's, like, ready to go, here's a blue piece. Oh, yeah. And then we just have to, like, make sure we place it, like, correctly on the shirts and press them in, in like, the correct layer. And then it's good to go. And it's um, after 24 hours, you can wear it right away. I have to say, too, really quick, what I like about your product is you're not, like, as not to be that blunt, but you're not screwing the people over with your pricing, man. Like, it's yeah, it's solid. Like, it's not like one of these shirts that are $45. I know you might get there when you, you know, when, like, um, hope you, I hope you do and make that profit. But, like, you know, if you, you know, you have, I, I like five shirts. I buy five seventy-five dollars and it's like, that's a Yeah. I, I really love it. You guys don't screw the consumer over. It's amazing.
Yeah, we're, I mean, we're, we're at like about $15 a shirt right now, which I think is fair. I mean, it is vinyl, right? Like, you know what you're buying when you're buying a vinyl shirt, you right. can sell it, um, especially like shirts with the bigger pieces of vinyl, like, you know what you're getting into. And I mean, I feel like 15 bucks, like if you don't love the way it feels, then you can return it too. And I'm, we're fine with that. But, um, you know, the, we're thinking about sublimation or like the infusible ink will have like a bit of a higher price point. Right. Um, because sure. it's, a different, sure. it's a different kind of shirt, you know, it's, but we're still not going to gut people. Too. Like, no. you know, like this isn't our day job. Like we're this doing is, it this for is a fun. Hobby, we're know, happy. Fun. Yeah. We're happy to like, honestly, we're happy to break even because we just really enjoy doing it. It's been right. a quarantine hobby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just and making a baby obviously was a quarantine hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that uh, we got a positive pregnancy test before the world went on lockdown. Just want to uh, throw that out there. This uh, is not an excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, yeah. the, he listens to it years from now when he grows right. up. I know. He's like, gross. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys take requests? Like, if someone emails you or texts you, hey, I want five. Yeah. My face yeah. on the shirt to send them. Yeah, we can do faces. So actually. we have we have a current or well, I say order, but probably an order. Products for so we have um a sweet sixteen. Uh, a sweet sixteen is going to happen. There's going to be masks, so they're going to need a bunch of masks for that. So that's going to be about fifty masks. Then we have an, and that's all custom. So we just have a custom mask order on the website. Right. The other order that we have is a custom. Uh, what, am I, what am I thinking about? What's the custom order? Oh, uh, bachelorette party. Yeah. Not, oh God, okay. have you ever done that? No. No, not yet. Ellie, so it's gonna be. Good. Bachelor bachelorette parties. That's gonna. That's a great market. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's Absolutely. actually the the bachelorette is a uh, a huge Friends fan. So we're just doing a bunch of Friends themed shirts for everybody. It's just gonna be black and white, like some like rose gold coloring and just like script. So it's yeah. pretty easy, but I mean, that's like, so, but you can, we have a section on there too for custom made. So you can pretty much just go on there and yeah. pick whatever you want. We've had a couple on, on our Etsy page. You have a, there's one of the options is to order a custom shirt. And um, we've had a couple orders through there that have been, um, one was like, what was the science that was a, one? Well, there was a bachelor. Oh, party. one was science doesn't care what you believe, which I loved. Yes. One was, um, groom's drinking team or something so yeah and it's that's and then we have also um something that's really fun that we like to do is we have pillows of uh people's pets mm. so we've had people send us pictures of their uh dog or cat and rob can turn that into like a silhouette and we put it on a pillowcase which is fun do you say koozies? Do you guys do koozies too? That's a, that's I mean, we do. That's a good idea. <laughs> that market, man. I know uh, this, this girl that gets her friends like koozies of their pets, like for their yeah. Well, we could definitely do that. It's a matter of like we have to make sure our wholesaler would uh, could sell us koozies or find a wholesaler yeah. that. Would, yeah, just but. cut me, cut me ten percent for the idea. It's whatever. Um, <laughs> you know what's funny? In my head, I was thinking twenty percent, but you know what? Ten percent is better. <laughs> Damn it! I'll never make it on Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Never sell yourself short, Eric. Yeah, hundred percent. Sorry, start there. Right. I'll pass. This is how those, Scotty, this is how those prices get jacked up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. See, you guys like that. <laughs> I'll pass it around a final time. I know you guys are like tired and you got to go to bed with the kid and whatnot. Um, uh, you, know, go, uh, yeah, we'll go. you know what's actually? I think it, it's a very underground type show, but it has a very cult following. If you guys made shirts from Trailer Park Boys. Oh, I love that show. Oh, uh, if the, look, last I think we, we went to Chicago for St. Patty's Day. I was trying to find uh, like a Jim Leahy type drinking shirt, and yep. nowhere could I find anything with like Jim Leahy or like Randy, yep. anything like that. So that's, I've never seen we can that. We definitely do that. It's a I've good show. Seen, is it really? Yeah, he's never oh, seen. Oh, it's fantastic. The, Simpsons, the so. kid's never seen The Simpsons. I, I mean, he's lost. I, I never. <laughs> I never got into Game of Thrones. I never. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah. You're right, though. Brian's right. Go to the market no one's done. Everyone's done. Yeah. 
Everyone's done the Simpsons, Friends, you know, like, and you yeah, know, that's I, true. I to that too. Like, no one's done Mr. Bean is tough. I met like, your mother. Ooh, right. that's a good one. Right, Mr. We just yeah. sold our first um, Arrested Development shirt, so that was pretty yeah. Yes, I love that shirt, too. The, the Tobias yeah. shirt, that's and great. Think, think oh, yeah. That shows that, like, people forgot, like, whether it's, like, some I like, Zoobly Zoo, like, or Zoom. Well, that was my worry. Like, when we made the Tobias Funky shirt, I was like, are, is anybody going to remember watching Arrested Development and watching all this stuff back in the day? Like, that's what our concern was. But it's not like people. Yeah, it's no, so still watch it. What do you mean? Remember it? Still watch it. <laughs> pretty, pretty regularly. It's those shows you always like talk about yeah. to your friends. Like, oh my god, yeah. Like I, I forgot <laughs> about this. Remember Wishbone? Another one. Go with like some yeah. like Wishbone. I'm sure Allie. Oh, yeah. You don't know it, but <laughs> I know Wishbone. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not Allie. Allie, if you make a Wishbone T-shirt, I will buy it tomorrow and wear it in the next video. Like that's. I kind of want to make like a wishbone dog, and then he's saying, "What's the story?" Yeah, that would be yes. a great. Well, like, oh, yeah. You guys, I will, I will buy, I will. You'll see all your shirts my in my. <laughs> Seriously, you'll see all your shirts in my music videos. Oh no, I, I, I already told Rob too. I said, "Hey, Scotty said if you make a Simpsons shirt, it's bought. So get on it." And he's, <laughs> yeah, just go. We for it. Actually, that was a week ago. <laughs> we were talking the other day about how we can't really put. Um, show titles on shirts so we were like all right so we can't put cat dog on a shirt but maybe feline canine we can put on a shirt or maybe oh, that'd be funny that's cute right yeah. we can't put like the Actually, Fresh kind of prince fun. of bel-air but we can put what did i say the right monarch of southern california in like the fresh prince of bel-air so you guys would be like the sci-fi movie titles of real yeah. movies yeah. Yes. <laughs> the Walmart brand. It's the Walmart brand yeah. Yeah. of the oh, you're Walmart. Fresh Don't princess. do the Walmart. Fresh Princess of Bel Air and just have like a Yas yeah. Queen. We could do that. Or like, like a batch. 40%. 40%. Jacking it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my job. Scotty, anyway. that, that quality shirt's going to be $46. Yeah. Like, it's, cat, it's Eric's <laughs> casting couch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe there's should, a baby in the room, room. Scott. There's a baby in the room. <laughs> <laughs> we right, should just it. do like a. We should just do a white shirt with a black leather couch on. It. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> do it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> do it. All right. Uh, hey, since you're on the Northeast, um, and you know you get these ideas up here, Ellie. Is there anything? Ellie's out in California. I don't know if you know that, but is there anything like you want, like that's popular out there? Maybe they could use to like expand their network with surfs up. I, I don't know. <laughs> so him. <laughs> Left wow, coast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, West Coast, bro. No, what? Something's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? Coast them. <laughs> so um, rocket power shirt. <laughs> rocket power would be cool. Angry Beavers. Great show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great if you do oh, Angry Beavers, God. I will literally buy all of them. Because yeah, we were, we, we, we were talking the other day about Angry Beavers and uh, Abra Monsters. <laughs> we, like, yeah. we were like, oh, yeah. oh, shows. <laughs> oh, my. Salute Drums your shorts. Man. Hey, dude. I mean, you got all these, man. All the, did anybody watch Kablam? Brian yes. did. Yeah, I know Brian. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Action League now and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, that, that was what I was thinking about. The Action League, Prometheus and Bob. I was thinking about doing stuff like that, but that's oh, yeah. obscure. I'm just like, like I don't think Rob... Rob might know. I think actually maybe Rob watched that, but I don't know anybody else that watched Kablam. So like, yeah, you know, Kablam. Bro, the obscure one. the youngest go, one here, minus the baby. Yeah. <laughs> there, you, you, you said earlier we can't take the likeness like Michael Scott, but what about the likeness of a character? Like... Of a, a or Simpson or something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if we if we like pair it way way back, you have to make it like you'll see a lot of show. Like I I was looking today at some um, shirts that someone's doing for Scrubs, and it's like you can kind of tell it's Zach Braff and Homer on, Great but show. it's like just like their outline basically. So if you did like Homer Simpson, you could do yeah. like the head with the hairs, but like maybe. It, it pushes it to that start putting their be a little touchy. Thing. Even like our Arrested Development shirt is a little pushing it a little bit. <laughs> but we think, but we think David Cross sues us. That's kind of a win-win. Exactly. So. Like honestly, yeah. if that's the attention it garners. Then you made it. Like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. yeah. But, um, no, it's a really cool product, guys. Like I, I love it. I, I love how yeah. I know you guys, and I'm happy you're doing it. I really hope you guys will fucking succeed at this. Um, Thanks, man. No more questions. We can get to yeah. the final segment here. 
Yeah. So we, we've been thinking about it all day. Now, I don't know if you guys have watched this episode. It's just shake your head yes like you have, even though you haven't. So we do a gun to your head at the end. And this is a very important segment because we keep score here. And there's been a couple people who haven't won here. A couple people have been on a roll. But what we do here is we ask two questions each, one or two questions each. And you have to... Answer the questions. No no questions asked. No hesitation. Gun to your head, bam. And then you pick a winner at the end. So this is two separate winners because you're not one person. Jesse, you're a free thinker. Allie, you're a free thinker. The baby's okay. a free thinker. There might be three winners here if it burps up when I ask the question. So we're going to go with Brian. You go first. And there's a little more oh. play involved. It's not your typical, oh, what do you want, beer or liquor? You, you, you'll understand. Go on, Brian. Okay. Okay, first one. Would you rather smell like pool cleaner for a day or be the most successful pool cleaner? I'd rather smell like pool cleaner. I'd rather be the most successful pool cleaner. (laughs) (laughs) Trouble in paradise. (laughs) I I love the smell of successful pool cleaner. Right? That's a good smell. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Next, um, would you rather be rich and famous for something you hate doing or not get paid for something you love doing? Oh, rich and famous for something I, knew, I hate he, doing. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I knew it. What, what, why wouldn't you? Because you, you hate your life. <laughs> I'd rather love my life. Yeah, but then you can quit and then do the thing you love. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. All right, I'll go next. All right. This podcast is tearing them apart. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we're like that asshole couple on the newlywed game. <laughs> you get hit Next. with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the only game you could play is Uno for one year, or the only pizza you could eat is Uno pizza for one year. Ugh. Uno play the game. A hundred percent. Jesse's thinking about it. What is the matter with you? Oh You've God. never seen this thing. <laughs> Uno pizza. How'd you know I was going to pick? Yeah, I was going to pick Uno yeah, pizza. Yeah, I was going to pick Uno pizza. <laughs> For one week, would you rather go sledding with a stranger named Bob or have to Bob sled everywhere you go? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That, that one was not good. <laughs> I would rather go sledding with a stranger named Bob. Oh, I'd rather Bob sled anywhere. We're not going <laughs> to. <laughs> You're gonna have two Christmases, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ellie, you're up. Bob sled. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the markets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, continue left. Hi, right, would you rather this is kind of hard, but you have a baby, so it's fair. Would you rather have the baby spit up in your mouth once a month or Spit up in your hair for two months straight, every day, twice a day. Spit up in my hair, hair. two months straight, hair. every day. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I mean, they agree on something. <laughs> oh, I love you. Yeah, because I love you too. Every secretion just that makes me gag. <laughs> yeah, the baby only laughs when Jesse's gagging at him, by the way. <laughs> like today, the baby literally shit in my hand, literally not joking. And he gagged and the baby laughed. <laughs> let that let it be clear. I don't shirk my responsibilities. Do any of you have children? <laughs> don't. No, oh, thank God. Oh, still am one. No. Ellie, you have another one or not? No, that, that I'm enjoying the shitting in the hand story. That's <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> All right, Eric, I think you got a tough hill to climb. I got a tough one. It's a tough one. <laughs> oh God, wait, hold on one second. Hold on, my computer keeps doing this. Okay, no, we're good. Scott sent him a virus. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Would you rather... Looks like the laugh meter land on Scott and he's the winner. (laughs) Would you rather... Would you rather no longer sell any shirts referencing the office or have to work in an actual office? Oh, Oh, that's That's hard. That's a head scratcher right there. Let's just think about it. The office is our favorite show. I know. It's such a great show. (laughs) I got to pick whichever one's me not working in an office. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to work in an office ever. I do work in an office. It's awful. Yeah, I'm trust looking. me. I do it too. Yeah. You get I'm paid with you guys. Rich for stuff you hate. So. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm living it, babe. I'm living it. <laughs> okay. Would you rather uh, get sued over a trademark or change your name to Mark Trade? <laughs> I kind of want to get sued for the story. <laughs> I have to agree. I would get sued like for the story. Like that time we got sued by Steve Carell. That would be a great story. Yeah. Um, yeah. Much as, we're, as we're or selling NBC. all our assets. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Sell, sell me NBC the shirt. NBC came after us. I'll sell me a shirt. I'll baby. tag them. And then you guys will get sued. And then I'll get, be involved. It'll be so fun. That'll make me sound cool. So <laughs> yeah. And that'll be great because you're already getting your 20% kickback. So yeah. whatever yeah. Is yeah, I'm a silent partner, movie. and I get sued. Uh, yeah, I might as well be a part of it. Yeah, I actually I tagged David Cross in the Arrested Development shirt. I didn't hear anything back. Um, <laughs> so I, I also tagged. <laughs> How <and> dare he? Nasty. <laughs> 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 oh no! I so we have a onesie that's uh, for friends. Is how you doing? So oh, we yeah, have that. We tagged Matt so LeBlanc. I tagged Matt LeBlanc. I was hoping that, like, on the off chance his publicist was like checking his, you know, Instagram, he'd be like, "Oh, that's cute." <laughs> How unique! We've never <laughs> seen that before. Yeah. You keep going for it. You'd be shocked the amount of people we've gotten in touch with. Ellie's gotten in touch with for her animal show. It has been incredible. Yeah. Just go for it. What's the worst that could happen? You know? Did they say no? It's like okay. lose our house. Well, no. <laughs> get sued. Yeah. You have to sell yeah. the baby. You're gonna have to sell the baby. He'll understand. He's, he's a real cool boy. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> <a> right. <laughs> My my thought process was like, if I'm Steve Carell, why am I suing some small time? Exactly. <laughs> like, but, like why? Would I, I don't know. I'm wrong, probably. Yeah, like, I, you know, but just like we only have a bobsled to get around town, you'll well, know. Well, just send a cease and desist and just call it a day. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll segue. We'll segue, Ali, with your bobsled question since you remembered it. Uh, now you guys have to pick a winner here. <laughs> what? You're so you're shameless. Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> you're the worst. This win. What do you mean? Trying so to get you, guys, guys. you guys have to make a winner. Each of you, what was your favorite question? And it doesn't have Mark. to be the same. This is a new game. Yeah, Jesse, Mark, don't look at me. I'm not. We're not the same team. Okay. Jesse. All right, Ali, my go favorite ahead. question was. Go ahead, ask. My favorite question was the Mark Trade trademark one. <laughs> good. Yes. Woo. Good. Thank you. Jesse, I'm sorry. That's you guys could have the same one. You could have the same one. And it's the baby, I, th I think the baby's first word was Mark Trey, so that's too <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, y'all. Don't apologize. Just put him up against the TV, see who's hand, see who he pointed. <laughs> He's asleep. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I gotta, gotta be honest, I gotta give it to Ellie. I, that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, Scott. Just, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, since I viscerally gagged at somebody <laughs> spinning up in my mouth, she's gonna... <laughs> that's her first victory on the show. <laughs> 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 No, I'm just happy you lost. I know. I want to tell you that's your first victory. Honestly, I thought those were some of my best questions, but I'm you, humble. Hold on, hold on. I'll that's the thing, aside. Scott. Understand. That's the thing, Scott. They were. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have a group chat. So before we come on to the show, Scott is always <sighs> pompous every show. I have the best gun to your heads. No, I'm definitely going to win. It's a head game. It's a head game. I try yeah. to get in all your heads. It doesn't work. <laughs> it never works. Right. Yeah, but until you know what's gonna be funny though is after all this, like I'm gonna like have to go to grocery shopping or something on Sunday. She's gonna look at me and go, You're taking your bobsled. So yeah, it's don't worry, true. it's gonna stick. So let's reconvene in a week and we can make a real win. <laughs> <laughs> she starts calling him Mark Trade. Alright, we got two for Eric. Two for Eric. <laughs> we can oh, all agree. We can all agree that there's there were solid <laughs> questions. Uh, before we let you go, tell us uh, your Instagram, where we can catch you on Etsy, and uh, what you're doing, your plugs, go on. Yeah, sure. So on uh, Facebook and Instagram, we're at petruso.inc, petruso, P-E-T-R-U-S-O dot I-N-K. And Etsy page is Petruso Inc. No spaces. No spaces. Apparently, it's harder to find without spaces or with spaces. Yeah. So. Yeah. I would imagine it's all know, just one word. A lot of their t-shirts in our rap videos because I, I love them and I love going nostalgic and it's really cool what you guys are doing. Congratulations on your business. I hope you succeed. And honestly, this was one of the funner episodes we've had. Uh, this was oh, fun. thank you. And well, this was one of the funner podcasts we've been on. Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? Even with your spawn present, you didn't ruin <laughs> it by crying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Scott, we, Scott, we got lucky that he was so tired. He just he just passed out, so we got lucky. <laughs> Scott, they can't change their answers. All right, stop. Yeah. <laughs>